Hey, what up guys, it's Mike. It's Dan. It's the robot that teaches you. Yo, I'm not okay with this, dude. I'm not, I'm Can not you imagine okay this? with you're, this. You're in a college class, right? And you're, you're, you're getting taught by somebody wow. virtually, yeah. right? And then you find out later that for months, you've been learning from a robot. I'm not okay with this. Cause this is like, this was kind of like an experiment. Yeah. Like they didn't tell you. Cause of course if they told you it was a robot. Okay, the experiment kind of worked in a way. Yeah. Cause if they told me, yo, you're, you're about to be talking to a robot. I, uh, it's a robot, whatever. Well, the, this robot, it was a teacher's assistant. TA. It, yeah. it wasn't, it, w it was like, oh, right, you get taught by the professor, yeah. right? Yeah. And then in college, Usually the professor doesn't have that much time. Yeah, the TA will teach some of the basic stuff. Like sometimes in, in college, if you guys don't know, like TAs will teach one-on-one -on -one classes, like simple in, right. like entry level classes. And, and in this case, everyone who had a question about the class or whatever would send their emails and stuff. Mm -hmm. And it was the TA robot, the bot designed by IBM that was answering all the emails. Yeah. And it was doing this for months, answering all the questions, and people were literally like, yeah, it's just a TA. Yeah. And then they revealed that it was a robot. They called it Jill Watson. Mm -hmm. I mean, like, yo, I, I feel a little weird. I'd be like, yo, you just experiment on me. I mean, I wouldn't I, care because I'm like, all right, whatever. I, I would feel shocked. I wouldn't care. You wouldn't care? No. I feel a little bit violent. You know what? Because because I know of this stuff now. If, if this was like back in the 80s or something, you'd be like, what the heck? But right now, robots are taking over. It's in, yeah. It's an in, in, inevitability. In, inevitability. Yes. That it's going to happen. And this is going to, this is just one, one further example of that. Yo, I think this robot is probably one of the closer ones to developing AI that we've seen. Because this is... Yo, guys, this is what they're doing. This is AI. Yeah. They're trying. This is real life testing artificial intelligence. Of course, they want the robots to be smarter, and then, and then eventually robots will create smarter robots, and then we just die. We're dead. Like, do you guys seriously think about what's going on right here? This is the start of. This is not the start. This is the ongoing evolution well, of the. I'll tell you right now what's right? gonna happen. Like, first of all. Uh, this year, auto cars are coming out. I mean, not this year, but this auto cars already it's out. Already like, out. Tesla's it's already out. Tesla's auto car is already out. So by 2020, they say it's going to be really common. Everyone's going to have an auto car. Okay. All right. So four more years, everyone's okay. having an auto car. So what happens? Okay. Why do you need truck drivers then? Why do you need, why like, do you some need of these guys? Why do you need people? taxi? Like, yeah. why do you need taxi? Because you Dubai don't... is installing like automated oh the, yeah public transports yep. by 2020. Yep. 50%. Yeah. So a quarter, whatever. Okay. So, so all cut, of a sudden, these those. guys are gone. Yeah. And then eventually, it's just like, it's just a bunch of robots everywhere. Well, I'll tell you, okay. So so first, it's like the manual labor, yeah. labor right? Replace them by ro a fleet of robots. Next is any kind of like task, like menial tasks like this, um, answering emails, providing support. So instead of, you know, I, you know, honestly, one thing, I might actually enjoy talking to a robot than an actual AT&T or Verizon person, because I hate Well, I hate no, talking no, 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 because robots, what they might lack mm -hmm. is compassion, and they might lack empathy. Mm -hmm. How do you learn that? Well, okay, okay, first of all, let me address, let me address that on two points. One, a lot of customer service people do not have empathy or compassion. That's why I don't like well, talking to Well, at least they have a chance of having it. With okay. a robot, it's all data. Okay, two, the two, ha, you okay, you haven't seen Ex Machina yet, right? Okay, this is exactly like Ex Machina in real life. You can teach now, okay, check this out. This robot can learn that stuff based on the internet, based on information, no. based on, Robots yes. can't learn empathy. I'm Once not, they learn empathy, <sighs> they become more human. No, this is like, this is, they become basically no, human. But this is not, I'm not saying robots will develop feelings. That's not what I'm saying. It, yo, check this out. So this robot also played Je played a Jeopardy test or yeah. whatever, right? Where it analyzed things that people said and it can pick out sarcasm. It can pick out, it can detect your feelings. So even though the robot might not have feelings of its own, but you can write a program so that if it's detecting anger, it can it doesn't you know, matter it can, though. It, it still can needs empathize. to empathize. It still needs to. No, it doesn't need to empathize. It's it still it it lacks the judgment of what uh, of different situations. No, no, correct. So you're so you're, you're when you, when you can actually do what like what like human beings can do. You know what it turns into? What's that? It turns into uh, what's that? Robin Williams. Oh, bicentennial, bicentennial man. man. Yeah. Yeah. Then you start feeling love. Then it gets really <laughs> creepy. 
Because then you gotta marry a robot. Then people start marrying robots now. They are, do they? Yo, they already marry video game characters and pillows and stuff. Just saying. When you develop that, then a lot of people are gonna be marrying robots. Then we just have like half robot kids running around. Yeah, for like, real. For real. Look, data. look. We're not far off. Okay, honestly, we're not far off. You. This is already the first foray into people interacting yeah. with a Let robot. Let me ask you something. Let me yeah. ask you something. Let me ask you guys something. All right. Be honest with me here. I think I might know. If, 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 if you can customize your perfect companion, it's customizable now, okay? Let's say in the next 10 years, in 10 years, you can <laughs> customize your perfect companion. Like, I'm talking about skin, it feels the same. That's messed up. Voice, bro. whatever. Yeah. yeah, that's messed up. Full feeling. Like you said, yeah. they can detect your feelings and respond like accordingly. Like ex machina, yeah. yeah. Like, like the, literally, you can't tell the difference between like them silicon and skin. a human being. Can't tell cannot the difference. tell the difference. Yeah. You can make them look any way you like. Right. Physical features, whatever. Face, whatever right. you like. You're perfect, whatever. Right. Would you then just date that person? I mean, marry that person. Because, ah. because here's the thing. Yeah. They would never cheat on you. Yeah. Okay. They would never be mean to you if you don't want them to. They would cater to all of your needs. Yeah. And all let's of say, your psychological... let's say it's not like just like a robot, robot like I uh, cater to all your no, needs. No, no, no. But like they they respond accordingly. Yeah. yeah. All right. They have a personality. Yeah. Would you then choose that person? Choose that as your mate? Yeah. I'll tell you right now, a lot of people in the world would, and that's yeah, I what think so. scares me. I think Bro, so. That's what yo. One thing that scares me is artificial intelligence scares me because like we said, robot apocalypse. But the thing that scares me even more is that, I bet you people actually prefer interacting with a robot. Yo, I can, I can tell you right now, like half the people would be like, you know what, Sign why am up. I putting up with you? Man, we said a fight, you don't cook for me? Yo, I'm leaving, I'm gonna go get a robot. Well, can I tell you, that's isn't that what's already happening in, in Japan and in parts of Taiwan, China? Well, the, isn't that what's happening? That's mainly happening with, with people who are kind of like, they're giant, giant, non giant, where they're like, they, they stay home all day and play okay. video games. Okay, you guys don't, they don't have, really have a life, so they're like, okay, I don't have a life, I don't get to meet physical human beings. I right, right. interact with like the online folks and, and my big, fluffy right. body pillow, whatever the heck. Be because they don't want to, it's easy, it's more convenient to inter interact with yeah, those but like, but, than to real people. But I feel like that's still in the minority. But I'm saying now, this yeah. is, this could be like a wide mainstream oh, thing. No, I totally agree with, you, agree with you. That's what I'm saying. Like, There's already people that ex exhibit those traits. Right. So now if you make it even more worthwhile than the masses, think about this. Like maybe, maybe in five, 10 years, we have friends where they're like, yo, me and my robot wife. <laughs> Yo, ser yo, seriously, why can't that happen, right? No, 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 I'm sure it will happen. And, and, and then now you have people in the world that are like, oh, yeah, no, I prefer humans. And people are like, I prefer robots. I mean, think about it. And then and then you're gonna have robot discrimination laws and all this stuff. Oh, like, yeah. You, That's crazy. It, it, guys, it's, we're moving, I, this, it's not a, like, it's a joke, but why couldn't the world is approaching this, isn't it? Isn't it well, approaching this? All right. Well, well, we'll see. We'll see. We'll see how you guys uh, think about this issue in the comments. Let us know your thoughts. Thank you so much for watching this video. See ya.